Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Is everybody ready for case two? Or should I say case three dash two because it's the third game? Oh, I was like what? Hey everybody, Artie and Marty are back. Oh wow. That <laughs> looks terrible. On it this looks system. it looks better when it's actually a DS. I'm sure it does. <laughs> Anyhow. Like legs. She needs to wear pants. Like Elsa. <laughs> oh wow. Elsa so, on Broadway wears Elsa pants apparently. Wears That's pants. all that I know about the Frozen musical. Also, uh, and that Anna is played by like a 30 something year old yeah, woman okay, and it does it not does work. not work. <laughs> oh <it's> so <laughs> sorry. Bad. Anyhow, enough about Frozen Stone the Musical. Bird We're on up. episode two. I seriously hope this opens with someone stealing Phoenix Wright's badge and then pretending to be him in court. Like, slicking back their hair and being like, shh, making this Okay, funky. well, you're going to be very disappointed. Aww. That's okay, I guess. The time is 1 a.m. Great! Nothing good happens. Nothing good happens after 2 a.m. This is a bomb? Detective, we made it. Whew. What a relief. Glad the jewel's still safe. Ho ho! You said it, pal. Oh, it must yeah. have been our rock-solid security that scared him off. Would you mind opening the safe just to double-check? He's just gonna sneak in. Guards, turn on the searchlights! This is literally like a Kaito kid. Better luck next time, gentlemen. Wait, is this like Kaito kid? <laughs> this is literally like... <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm afraid I must be leaving now. This is now. like an anime I watched. This is hysterical. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, there's an anime that I've watched about this guy. We shall meet again when the next moon is full. <laughs> Wait, this is also like Sailor Moon too. Okay, no. Yeah, mask actually, to mask actually, salutations. This is actually a lot like Sailor Moon, a But better. Yeah, no, so the anime that I was thinking of, though, there's this kid who his father was, like, a master, um, like, master criminal, sort of, and then he, his father's dead, and he goes into his father's secret lair and discovers there's all these messages that his father, like, deceased father left for him, and so he's trying to find a specific jewel that, like, could, like, destroy the whole world and prevent it from going into the wrong hands. So he, like, breaks into museums and steals jewels and then puts them back if it's not the right one. But he's, like, running from police and he's got this big old cape and top hat and, like, throws cards. It's it's actually really funny. I like the show a lot. Sorry! Okay, the beginning of that, I'm like, that is literally the exact plot of Ninja Gaiden on the NES. Well, Until I've you never... got to the part where he dresses in a top hat and throws cards at people. <laughs> Instead of roses, like, tuxedo mask. Alright, it's October 11th, 3.24pm, right in company law offices. By the way, for those of you who don't know, this takes place, I think, almost a full year after the second game. Wow, he has no work. Hey, Nick, get a load of this! Oh, wow, Maya's back. <laughs> hey, are you listening to me? You can clean the toilet later! This is important! <sighs> what are you freaking out about now? <laughs> Today will be the last time you talk to me that way. Huh? We're about to hit the big time! Big time? And what do you mean by we? You don't mean me, you and me, Art. Ha! Don't be silly. I'm talking about me and Pearly, of course! Yay! Hello, it's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Nick. Pearls! You haven't changed a bit. Wait, what are you doing here anyway? <laughs> haven't you heard, Mr. Nick? Here, take a look at this! What's this? Some kind of poster? In Karain Village. Karain Village? Isn't that... That's right! It's our hometown! Pearly and mine, that is! What's this about treasures from the boonies? Ha 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 ha! Very funny! You can laugh all you want! But you'll be singing another tune tonight! Tonight? What are you to- what about tonight? The treasure of Korean exhibit doesn't actually start until next week, but the promoter sent us some special VIP entry passes. That's why I dressed up extra special today. What do you think, Nick? 
<laughs> Same Maya, different day. She didn't wear anything different. <laughs> this young lady here is Maya Fey. The younger sister of Mia Fey, my friend and mentor. Oh, I love this music. I met her. I first met her two years ago. You know when that happened. I was working on the case surrounding Mia's death, and ever since then, I've been the one who's been keeping this law of office afloat from behind the scenes. Actually, that's just a cover for her true identity. In reality, she's a spirit medium and a bit of a shady character. Hey, who are you calling shady? And this little girl is Pearl Fay, but I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin and a spirit medium in training herself. I know I'm a bit young, but I want to help in any way I can, Mr. Nick. This is basically like, so here's what you missed in the first, the first two games. games. <laughs> Karain Village is the home of the mysterious Karain channeling technique. And Maya here is the daughter of the Karain School of Channeling's master. Not to be confused with the master from Paper Mario. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's no joke. I've seen her power with my own eyes. Ooh. It's the real thing, all right. <laughs> Earth to Nick, how long are you going to make two gorgeous women like us wait? Okay, well, Pearly is not a woman yet. <laughs> well, yeah, Mr. Nick, I can't wait any longer. I want to see the exhibit. <sighs> Looks like I don't get a choice here. Might as well head on out. Treasure exhibit poster added to the court record, because I'm sure that'll be important. October 11th, 7, 18 p.m. More we do The dude, the dude also ball. flew at the first beginning thing. Is, is this like a repeat of like Max, Max Galactica? Galactica. <laughs> I'm now a thief. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. If they brought back someone from that case, that would be kind of funny. As long as it's not like Mr. Birds. Ooh. Well, he's in jail. Well, maybe we have to go to jail. I'll just like, say that case, that case was so reviled. It's unlikely that they'd bring oh, someone like that from that true. case back, unfortunately. The Lordy Taylor? The Lordly Taylor. Oh, the Taylor, Lordly Taylor. Marty. My bad. Lordly Taylor, the city's fanciest and most expensive department store. Great. <laughs> Why are we there? Oh, the treasure Treasure exhibit, exhibit, huh? I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. Oh my gosh. This is a very posh store. Wow, this is awesome! Yeah, you can make even the cheapest junk look great. It all depends on how you display it. Oh, they even have the dusty old hanging scroll that was in the May Fanner storeroom. The May Fanner, that's the word. The right. <laughs> <laughs> May Fanner. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember scribbling on it when I was a little girl. On a family heirloom? <laughs> Say, Nick, the person in charge of this ex exhibit is waiting for us in the basement warehouse. All right, I guess we should go and say hello. No, let's examine no. stuff. <laughs> this music's pretty. I love the posh music, yeah. I think I remember this old folding screen here. Is that the one that the bullets went for? Yeah. I'm okay. pretty sure it was an important piece of evidence. In that murder case that happened in Karain Village. This folding screen is the greatest of all the spirit channeling secrets. The six-leaf Karain Sacred Writings folding screen! This sounds like a mixture of, like, those were 10,000-year-old antiques from Korra, and, and the sacred Jedi text! Yeah, yeah. If it's so secret, why is it the most prominent thing in the exhibit? Because they don't right, know. painting scroll. Or maybe not. A piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Huh, let's see. Here is the title in English. 108 Ways to Save Money. I'm pretty sure that number has gone up since the last time I saw it. <laughs> well, we're always looking for new ways, you know. Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. You don't really get the... Paid. The, you don't get paid. You don't get, like, the benefits or anything. Yeah. What's with this big cushion? It's just lying around with nothing on it. Hmm. Well, it must be for the greatest treasure of all. Greatest treasure? Is there something like that? Huh? Why, of course there is. Right, Pearly? Oh, um, yeah, of course. Yeah, I bet it'd be really, it would really take your breath away. I bet it'd be, yep. I bet it'd be. I bet it'd be. <laughs> They're just a bunch of old urns. Are these really treasures, too? Of course they are. This is a treasure exhibit, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess so. So all it takes to be a treasure is age? No wonder nobody likes museums. Yeah. I, I like the science museums where it's okay, hands-on. The science museum of Chicago is awesome. 
the Museum of Science and Industry. If you're in Chicago, check Go it out. There. It's awesome. It's awesome. And I mean, if, if you like art, the art exhibit is also awesome. But I only I like can take art. it. I like art too, but I can only like walk around an art museum for an hour or two before I'm just like, I'm done. The best part of that museum was the food. I'll be honest. I don't really remember. Marty, but ladies I was, and gentlemen. I was eight. I don't remember anything we saw. I just remember like walking and painting after painting after painting. And like <laughs> our mom. at the art exhibit. <laughs> our mom was like so amazed by everything. I'm like, this is great, but I'm. Really our mom good. and Link could have walked around oh the exhibit like three days. Yeah, they love straight. art. I mean, I like art too, but I I, there's a certain limit of just yeah. walking and walking. That's and also it's like... why I liked art prize. Because there's like a lot of different types of. There's like lots of different ways you can find art if you go to like specific festivals and stuff where it's like, it's. Uh, I made an entire room out of yarn. And it's like, this is kind of cool. Like, yeah, anyway. Missy Maya, look, I can't believe it! Oh, it's so cute! It's a little diorama of the Curry Village! Yeah, look at that. But somehow it seems to reek of dreariness. Oh, Mystic Maya, it's your house! It even says Fey Manor on it! Yikes, you're right! I kind of want to add the famous in front of it. Don't do it, Maya. They might get mad. <laughs> Let's go to the basement warehouse. Uh, why are we in the basement? This is where the, the promoter is. Oh. October 11th, Lordly Taylor Basement Warehouse. Yep. This is a basement warehouse, all right. This place is scary. I feel like a monster could jump out at any time. Don't be scared, Pearly. I'll protect you. This is you. Oh, Mr. Wright. Ah! A monster! You were right! Huh? A monster? She's back! <laughs> oh my gosh! No, my voice is gonna kill me for this. Good evening. It's good to see you again. Y you! I know you. <laughs> nice to see you again, too, Miss Little Miss. Ah! Oh, hello! Is she a friend of yours, Nick? And how do you know her, Pearly? Nice to meet you. I'm Adrian Andrews. I'm in charge of promotion and planning for the treasure exhibit. I'm also responsible for the security arrangements. Oh, um, nice to meet you. Adrian sure has changed since we last met. She looks so much happier. Yay! So this is the warehouse. The really valuable exhibit items are still stored away here. <laughs> no music at all. That's kind of weird. Uh, let's examine stuff first, because otherwise it'll be like, oh, gotta kick you out. Of all the people to bring back, I mean, I also, guess... Also, <laughs> they brought her fair, back real fast. To be fair, in that case, there was like two new people. Where it was like, it's either Adrian or this person. <laughs> or Wendy Old Bag went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wondered. I almost wanted... It's a security camera. It's trained on the warehouse door. It's set up to take a picture of anyone that enters or exits the door. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, they say. It's like Lotta's camera. No, don't Except mention you her. Don't need it. <laughs> we don't need her back again. <laughs> <laughs> this computer, it looks like it's hooked up to the security camera above. And that means what? The camera's set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out of the storeroom. Then the data from the camera gets uploaded to this computer here. That's what. I see. That's some pretty high-tech stuff. You know it. It looks like a part of a big signboard. All I can read on it, it is the burr. Ah! I've got it! Maybe it's supposed to say HAMBURGER! Why would anyone write HAMBURGER that big? Like, maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something. I kinda doubt it. Aha! I got it! Maybe it said spaghetti! Why are you talking about food? Oh wait, that's normal for you. Anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti. Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said spaghetti festival. What do you think? Okay to me. Besides, spaghetti is the only thing more tangled than your reasoning. I like Maya. So do I. Talks about food. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So? What's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded and cultural assumptions, Nick. R right Sorry. Why do I feel like we've had this exact same conversation before somewhere? <laughs> do they just put that in every game? Sometimes more than once. Uh, fire extinguisher? Nope. Ooh, fire. Ooh. Why do they have, like... <laughs> Mr. We'll Nick, that what's that big door over there? It looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. 
Really? Let's go in! I want to take a look. Oh, I'm sorry. Unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in there. Did you hear that, Nick? We're unauthorized personnel! Why are you telling me that? <laughs> Mystic Maya, take a look! Take a look next to the door! That... that's Mystic Ami, right? Yes, that's a statue of the woman who invented the Korean channeling technique, Ami Fei. I still want to say it's Amy, but it probably isn't. Is it Amy or Ami? I have no idea. Can you spell Amy with an I? Probably. If you could spell Tinnifer with two Ys, then yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. Is it Amy Rose with an I or Amy Rose Why? with a Y? Okay. I don't know. Like, right, it's then. probably Ami because that sounds more um, foreign. <laughs> the statue is on loan from one of the training halls of the Fay Branch Company. Er, Fay Fra Branch Company. <laughs> <laughs> We're the Fay Branch Company. <laughs> we tow. <laughs> <laughs> Need a car toad. We got you. <laughs> the Fate Branch family. In fact, it just arrived this morning. Ami Faye's golden statue added to the court record. What's that creepy looking thing she's holding? Don't ask me. How should I know? Well, you are the future master, right? Maybe so, but this is the first time I've even seen this statue. That thing is the Korean Shichijiko. Shichishito. She, wait, Shichi, Shichi Shito. Yep. Shichi, Shichi Shito. It's a ceremonial sword. It's not a real weapon, so the blade isn't sharp. Oh, that's, that's good. good. Aw, fooly. I wanted to cut something. Why are you eyeing me for? I bet that thing's gonna actually be sharp. <laughs> it says oh. Organi. No, it doesn't, Nick. It says Organize. You just can't see the last two letters. Yeah, well, I guess no one else could read it either, because this place is a dump. <laughs> yeah, you must feel right at home, huh? Wow. I almost think that someone just threw the sword onto the statue. Like, if, if there was a murder or something, like, they got away and they're just like, Yeah, this goes here. And then they're like, oh, it's a famous <laughs> oh, statue. Oh, check this out. Under profiles, we have ourselves now. Phoenix Wright, 26. Me. Me, what more can I say? This is my third year as a young but skilled warrior. 26. Mia is deceased, Maya's older sister, and the, my eternal mentor in life and law passed away two years ago. My assistant and a disciple of the Korean trainer. No, Maya's still 19. Yeah. Wait, in the second game, was she 18 or 19? Yeah, she was 18. Oh, I thought she was 19. Yeah, Pearl's, Pearl's 9, nine now. Oh, the Maya's other... cousin and a channeling prodigy. She has amazingly powerful spiritual Yeah, abilities. for like a 9-year-old. Adrian is 24, head of planning, promotion, and security Good of the Treasures you, of Korean Exhibit. Dude. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Blue. No problem, um, lady. <laughs> um, we should talk to her. It really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Wright? Nick, what's going on? Who is this woman? Maya's like, ooh, that's looking at her feet first. Oh, by the way, who the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you spazzing out on me? Who? What? I just thought it'd be more dramatic if I got all worked up. That's all. Mystic Maya, you shouldn't let him off the hook so easily. Please, Maya, don't say anything that'll needle pearls for her. Mr. Wright was there for me when I really needed help. It, it was something that happened seven months ago. Oh, seven months ago then. Yeah, you remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case? Not really. I was stuck in a dark wine cellar. Did that escape your memory, Nick? Yeah, so if you play this game before the second game, kind of spoils a lot of stuff. <laughs> After that, I quit being a manager and started this job. Wow, that's tough. I'm sorry, Miss Andrews. If it wasn't for us... No, don't say that. I'm glad the whole thing happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I really am grateful. Phew, that's a relief. And this. I'm really impressed, Miss Andrews. Handling a huge exhibition like this must be very tiring. Well, Lordly Taylor is celebrating its 200th anniversary this year. Dang, that's like Civil War. <laughs> they had the Lordly Taylor. <laughs> well, no, hey, no, not hang Civil on. War. Okay, that this is 2018. Like... 18, 18. Yeah, that, that was before be the Civil, Civil War. That would be before the Civil War. Oh, dang. It's like, well, America's finally a country. Let's open a department store. <laughs> it's like, uh, okay. Yeah. The works on display in the main exhibit hall are worthy of finest of, of the finest museums. Wait a second. Hang on. Okay, this is supposed to take place in California. It, okay. 1818 in California, it was just wilderness. <laughs> Somebody did <laughs> this through. Let's make up department store. No, when was the gold rush? Uh... 
after the Civil after War. After the Civil War? Okay. Yeah, because yeah. Civil War... Oregon, Oregon Trail was after that. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I just pushed that. Woohoo! Did you hear that, Pearly? The finest museums! I'd already read it. Okay. Yeah, I did! That's really wonderful. So this basement warehouse is pretty well protected, huh? Of course it is. After all, there are some priceless treasures here. The security guards are all very highly trained as well. So don't steal anything. That sounds good. So what is it with that face she's making? Oh, look. It's already eight. Have you all eaten yet? Um, well, actually... <laughs> I've already made a reservation at the restaurant on the 12th floor. Why don't we all dine together? Oh! I like the sound of that! Dine! It sounds so fancy! I'll have the kids lunch! Ha 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 ha! Pearly, it's dinner, not lunch! Why don't you go forward and really eat your fill with a kid's dinner? <laughs> okay, in that case, one kid's dinner for me. <laughs> Shall we head upstairs, then? She's probably, like, trying to ignore the fact that, um, they got broken into. Where it's like, no, because there was, like, that scene where it's like, Oh, no, we've been had! We've been broken into, or whatever. Maybe she was, like, we have the highest security guards, and was like, Let's get out of here! Let's She's actually on. reading a script. <laughs> <laughs> we have the highest security guards here. <laughs> After that pleasant evening, all that remained was to wait for the exhibition's opening. I wanted to see a- I wanted to see Maya eaten. What? No! I would have wanted to see did them you, all Did you eating. just say I wanted to see Maya eaten? Like, eating food. <laughs> okay, it sounded like you said I wanted to see something eat Maya. No. <laughs> From the way you said that. I want to see Maya get eaten by King Kong. No, that's, that's not what happened. I know. It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. None of us could have imagined that the very next day something terrible would happen. What, is Miss Andrews killed? Maybe. October 12th, really 10.09 a.m., right in company law offices. Nick, Nick! This is terrible! What the? You're cleaning the toilet again? I never knew you were such a toilet freak! Give me a break, would you? My brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time. Um, I'm going to turn on the TV. We've got... Yeah. Oh, you can do this. We've got an update on the recent treasure heist. Based on clues found at the scene of the crime, authorities have announced that they believe that the work of the renowned- It was the work of the renowned phantom thief, Mask de Mask! M mask the Mask? According to the spokesperson, Lordly Taylor received a threat letter some days ago. This is literally like the show! He will send- The dude would send out like a, I'll be making my stop at the museum, then they're like, they've got all these people here, and then he like, flies in, grabs the jewel, and he's like, ha ha! And flies off, even though he gives a letter. Wow, this is so similar. This is the fifth heist that the Phantom Thief, he's also called the Phantom Thief, who only targets rare treasures. He's called Mask of Mask. What, Lordly this Taylor? This is so similar! Okay, when was that anime made? 2015? Okay, so that's ripping this off yeah, 100% probably. then. <laughs> probably. Because this came out in 2004. Yeah. There was, though, um, a show before that. Have you ever heard of Detective Conan? No. Okay, well, that's a show that came out in the 90s, but All right. that had him in that. Wow! Lordly Taylor? Well, Nick, what are we going to do? Don't you dare go back scrubbing the toilet! Treasure? Lordly Taylor? You don't think. Yes! Now get up, Nick! It was stolen by Mask to Mask! Our most valuable treasure. The great sacred urn was stolen! What?! That's not the most sacred pearl broken! It. <laughs> <laughs> Refresh my memory a little. What's this sacred urn? It's only the most important treasure in the Korean village, that's all! Look, it's right there on this poster! Yeah, the broken urn. <laughs> Don't you remember what's inside? The urn contains a very important soul! Namely, the soul of Mystic Ami Fei, the founder of the Korean channeling technique. Right, Pearly? Uh, yes! That's right! Hold up. I thought the urn had the name Ami written on it. Now it says I am. Hmm. Any idea of how that happened, Pearly? Huh? Um, I... Well... <laughs> there are some things best left unsolved, couldn't you say, Mr. Nick? That's right! One year ago, there was a murder in Kurang Village, Maya's hometown. The sacred urn, it turned out to be an important clue in that case. 
Sacred Urn, add it to the core. It doesn't look like a Sacred Urn, it's blue! <laughs> it, the Sacred Urn is blue, this is just not crack, it doesn't have writing on it. What have the treasures of Kareem Village? Supposedly priceless, it looks like a plain old pot. What to do? Okay, the toilet is shinier than the judge's head, so let's see what's next. What's wrong with you, Nick? What do you mean? What do you mean, what? Mr. Nick! Your beloved Mystic Maya's treasure has been stolen! Doesn't that even bother you? But I thought the urn was the village's treasure, so I don't see how... The village is Mystic Maya! She's the future master of the Korean School of Channeling! You know what I'm talking about, Mr. Nick. I won't let you say you don't! Okay, okay! I do! So what am I supposed to do about it? Isn't it obvious? Go and find the bad guy who did this! Yeah! And get the secret urn back! But... I'm not a detective! I'm a lawyer! That has nothing to do with this! If you were a real gentleman, you would find it for your beloved Mystic Maya! Man, oh man, there's no winning against Pearl's fairy tale image of love. So what's the name of this bad guy again? Mask to Mask, Nick! Make a note of it! Mask to Mask! Oh, it was terrible! I was arrested and everything! You don't have to look so happy when you say that! <laughs> I was arrested and everything! One year ago, the murder in Curran Village... Poor Maya gets, like, blamed for everything. A man was killed during one of Maya's spirit channelings. And this urn wound up being the key piece of evidence that proved her innocence. That and a lot of other stuff. Um, Mr. Nick? I'd say that Duhati's had his testimony yeah, was just as important. Yeah, that was also just as important. <laughs> Would you mind not telling Mystic Maya about that? You promised, remember? You said you wouldn't tell me when I broke the urn. You broke the urn? You said that right in front of her. Oh yeah, that's right. Now I remember. This urn used to say Ami on it. Until Pearl's accidentally broke it into a million pieces. She tried to secretly fix it. Let's just say it didn't work out so well. Sorry, I'm not so good at arts and crafts. Or spelling, either. Anyway, this is how her gluing project turned out. She put the pieces together wrong, and now instead of Ami, it says, I am. All I could think of is, I am, that is. My sword, <laughs> sword shall, shall wield for, for me. me. Yep. Which sounds better for a Korean village anyway. I can't believe no one's noticed this until now, a whole year later. I can't believe it myself. Your mom, I was like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just be over here, not listening to Charlie. you. Charlie! Charlie, a quite decorative plant. When she was alive, Mia really loved it. She even went so far as to make it our mascot. It must be nice to be a plant, being able to just sit in the sun and photosynthesize. Hey, Nick! No time for daydreaming! That's right, Mr. Nick! No time for daydreaming! Oh, man. Until I find that urn, they're not going to give me a second of peace. What about the poster? An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it a long time ago. Maya watched it recently, and she cried all night, too! Which, I guess, is why it's back up on the wall. I'll have to check it out one of these days. I wonder if it's Titanic. Apparently, it's probably Toy Story 3. Girls are supposed to be crying over that. I've never seen it. There's a giant building just outside of the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high class luxury hotel. The chain is getting so rich that they bought a whole chunk of the next town over. <laughs> what, what the, the heck? heck? <laughs> and started building a huge theme park. It's going to be called Gatewater Land. And to think that two years ago, it was just a little hotel for businessmen. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at all those books! Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. Actually, I've neglected them for so long that they're covered in they're covered in a layer of dust. Maybe I should actually try reading them once in a while. Hey Nick, there's no time for reading! Yeah, Mr. Nick, you can always read later. I guess I won't be getting any peace and quiet to even read until I find the urn. It's my desk. I don't get to use it much, so the dust bunnies are starting to mount their assault. Maybe I should wipe them out with a few well-placed swipes of my cleaning rag. Hey, Nick! Are you trying to make me upset? Yeah, Mr. Nick, if you were worried about the cleaning, please leave it up to me. At least Pearls is good at cleaning. <sighs> I guess I better go find the urn. Hey, first off, Maya, did you know I'm an attorney? Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think about this? Hmm, what about it, Pearly? I'm not certain. What do you think, Mr. Nick? Maybe free heads aren't better than mine. The Magatama's here. Oh, do we still have, um, what is it, Cyclops? Ah, uh, we'll see, won't we? I mean, why else would we have it? <laughs> Check out my face. You're not very photogenic, are you? 
guess that's the end of that conversation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why are you smiling while you say it? Was Mystic Maya... Was she a really good... Or Mystic Mia? Maya and Mia! Why would you name both your daughters with an M? Ask the Duggars why they named all, all their, their kids, kids with a J. With a J? <laughs> I would just be like, J-J-J-J-Jeremy. Yeah! <laughs> nope, none of them are Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you'd be like, Je Jerome. Jer Jerome. <laughs> they don't have a Jerome. I know. It's the one that they would Joel. have. Joel. They don't even have a Joel. They don't have a Joel. Even though he's a biblical character, that is interesting. Huh. Anyway. Was Mystic Mia, was she a really good player? Yeah, she was awesome. She taught Nick everything he knows. You should train hard and try to make her proud, Mr. Nick. Yeah, I'll do my best. You can join me on my next trip to the freezing waterfall. I hate to break it to her, but I don't think being frozen by the, to the bone helps him more. Present Mia to, or Maya to Maya. <laughs> I'm going to have to really buckle down and get serious. Well, you're the future master of the Korean channeling technique, after all. Yeah, that and I have to play a part of the big sister, too. For Pearly, and you, Nick. What? Do I look like I was born yesterday? Pearly's such a cutie, isn't she, Nick? Yep. And she's smart, too, just like yours truly. She's got quite a future ahead of her. I bet she could be president someday. A president that can channel past presidents. Hmm, that just might come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Avatar. Basically. She certainly seems grateful for to you, Nick. Well, she was in a pretty tight spot during the terrible ordeal. Actually, I'm grateful to her, too. Hmm, sounds like you're not telling me something. I'm going to take a good look at the case file next to chance I get. Alright, anyways, let's go back to the department store of fabulousness. It was, it also, is Adrian the only one that works there? We didn't see anyone else working there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> October 12th, Lord of Taylor Main Exhibition Hall. Right, let's see if we can find some clues that might lead us to the bad guy. But it doesn't look like anything has <sighs> been disturbed. It's probably in the basement. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as it did last night. can't poke around here, pal! Wait a minute, that voice. Oh no, not him again! <laughs> well, at least your head's better. It's you! And I'm the one who should be saying not again! Why is it that every time something bad happens, you always show up, pal? I should be asking you that. Aren't there any other detectives? No, I should be asking you that! What are you doing hanging around here? Hey, I ask you first, why are you here any- Alright, alright, we got it! Why don't you two kiss and make up already? Um, hello, it's been a long time, Mr. Scruffy Detective. Oh, it's you, Little Missy. Um, uh, actually, my name is Gumshoe, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Now it's a good chance for you to try to remember it right. And if it's too long for you, you can just call him Dick. Okay, it's good to see you again, Mr. Detective Dick. Um, yeah, good to see you again, <laughs> too, I guess. <laughs> He's back! Yeah! Oh, uh, Mr. Detective Dick, could you please tell us about what happened? Oh, you're trying to remember my name! a girl! Um, just, it's Gumshoe, okay? Anyway, the thief stole something called the Sacred Urn. I don't know about that. Oh, well, the criminal's name is Mask Damask. I know about that, too. Detective, can't you tell us something other than that? W well I guess I sorta of, kinda of owe you guys, in a way. The crime occurred last night at around 1.30 in the morning. How exactly do you know that? We got an emergency phone call from a guard at the scene of the crime, pal. He said, the urn was just stolen. The scene of the crime? You mean here, right? Wrong. The urn was being kept under careful guard in the basement yeah. warehouse. Yeah. Basement warehouse, huh? Um, so who is guarding the basement warehouse? That guy! It's all his fault that the thief got away, pal! I swear, if it's, um, what, what's the... Shoot. He sw solves one case and gets a swell head thinking that he's an ace detective. Ace detective? Interesting. Oh, it's not who I thought it was then. Hey, who did you think it was? Um, what, what's the name of that... O Officer Martin... Meekins? I thought for a second. <laughs> like, he lost a job and he's like, Now I'm the perfect guard for this place! And then, like, you know... But then he was an officer, not a detective. 
Maybe it's... It could be Meekins, but also keep in mind that this game came out before Rise from the Ashes. Oh, maybe it's Edgeworth. Could be. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, about this Mask the Mask, is he famous? What? You're joking, right, Nick? Mask the Mask is the hottest thing since sliced bread! Sometimes he appears as a museum guard. Sometimes he appears as a big brown bear and new to surprise and surprise, surprise to his victims. But underneath those disguises is the true Mask the Mask. So he's some kind of master of disguise, huh? And he only goes after the finest works of art, pal. Last night was his fifth heist. If Wardley Taylor had only cooperated, I could have caught him this time. What? Then you knew he was planning on stealing the sacred herb? Of course I did. The guy always sends his calling card before he yeah. steals something. Calling card, huh? They mentioned that on TV. Okay, ask an important question. So why do you call him an ace detective anyway? That's what he calls himself, pal. I didn't make it up. So, what's he like? Well, like I told you, Master Mask has made five heists so far. On the fourth heist, Mr. Ace Detective managed to get the stolen treasure back. Wow, that is impressive. All by himself? Yeah, I gotta admit it, pal. Maybe he really is as good as he says. Every time the thief sends one of his calling cards, we send our men on a stakeout. But none of us have ever gotten so much as a glimpse of the guy. But Mr. Ace Detective was able to retrieve the stolen treasure from the thief. Anyway, he's at the scene of the crime right now, looking for clues. So he's down in the basement warehouse, huh? Maybe it's a new prosecutor in school. He's a detective. Oh, so well, what... maybe he will be our prosecutor. <laughs> so what's this calling card? Here it is. But don't show it to anyone. It's top secret, okay, pal? Is Yin Yang on it? What's this map mark on the front? That's Master Mask's signature emblem, pal. You could say it's his mark. The fire emblem. <laughs> All of us, his calling cards have gotten it on them. They didn't mention that on the newsflash. We're withholding that detail from the public for operational reasons. The only way we can tell if a calling card is real or not is by this emblem. Yeah, so you, you don't want you don't want it. copycats or like yeah. you can be oh, I'm gonna steal from this museum. <laughs> and calling card added to the court record. He's like he's the um dignified thief, so to speak, if he sends out calling cards. Sure. That makes sense. When you get famous, there's always imitators. Mr. Nick, if you work a little harder, maybe you can have your own copycat someday. Um, uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, unfortunately, we have to end the episode here before we can meet Gaze Detective. Let's meet him! Come on, everyone wants to meet him. Meet him! Meet him! Come on! Fine! Yay! But we're not gonna meet him and then quit. That's fine. October 12th, Lordly Taylor, Basement Warehouse. No matter how many times we come here, this place always gives me the chills. That's probably because it's air conditioned, to protect the art pieces, you know. Welcome to my private little banquet of chaos. Huh? What the heck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's got lightning bolt hair! It's Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please make yourself at home. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Uh, um, who are you anyway? Shh! Silence! <laughs> now I see it's all becoming clear. What do you see? Zvari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Neither very advanced at their truth. Wow! Am I wrong? Yikes! That's scary! How did you know that? You're wearing spirit medium training stuff. <laughs> how, you say? The universal skeptic would say that how is nothing but a question of why. I am a traveler of both time and space, and a swimmer of dreams. What is he talking about? I can't make heads or tails of it! Without further ado, let me fulfill what should be the first duty of any gentleman. And introduce myself. The name is Atme. Luke Atme. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ace Detective. Oh, um, hi. Don't let him imitate you! Intimidate. intimidate! Wow, I can't read. Don't let him intimidate you, Nick! Stand up and show him what you're made of! Er, uh, um, the name's right. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I'm Maya Faye, Ace Spirit Medium. And I'm, um, Pearl Faye. I'm Mystic Maya's cousin and, um, Spirit Medium, Ace Apprentice. Apprentice. Excellent. Well then, shall we?
we begin our little game. Game? Why does the phrase of one short one short of a baker's dozen come to mind with this guy? So yeah. Cool. <laughs> He's gonna be the detective. So that's it for today, everybody. I Thanks like for watching. Nose. So pointy. It's like Waluigi if Waluigi had lightning bolt hair and slightly more class. <laughs> and no mustache. And no mustache. Well, yeah, this guy oh, yeah, this guy's very uh, interesting. Anyhow. Like Look forward right. to talking to him next time, everybody. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.